All right, welcome on in everyone. My name is Coach Christian, bringing you another daily Coach Care Connect virtual workout. Today, we got some really good stuff, just like always. We're gonna go through our warm up, and then we're gonna do some supersets today. So three different supersets that we're gonna go through, two moves a piece, where we go back to back, knock them out, take a short little break, and then we get right back into it. So that's kind of how a superset works. I'll tell you a little bit more about it after we get warmed up. But equipment that you're gonna need today, would love if you would have a couple, uh, a couple weights. A set of weights would be perfect. We're gonna do some reciprocating uh, bent over row today to get our back so a set of weights would be awesome but if you got one weight we can make that work as well hopefully you got some heavy stuff because we got some side lunges um, that'll challenge your lower body if you can really hold a heavy weight today so got some ways to make this workout your own as always we always want to try to make this workout what you're looking for so if you're looking for strength today try to go a little bit heavier if you're looking to tone it up and uh, you know that's kind of your mindset for this maybe go a little bit lighter try to knock out more reps throughout the rounds um, now, they are set reps today, so a little bit different if you've taken other Coach Care Connect workouts. We don't do this a ton. We usually go on a timer, but today we are going on sets. So let's get warmed up. High plank position to start. We're going to start with a Spider-Man with rotation. So high plank, hop one foot outside the hands, and then we open up, following the hand with the eyes, and right back down. There's one. I go to my other side. And again, we're going to knock out five on each side for 10 total reps. Good, so get a stretch going on this one, get the heart rate rolling up. We'll do four quick warm-up exercises and then we will get right into our workout today. So again, take your time with this one, open the shoulders up, reach towards the ceiling. Think about following the hand with the eyes as you open up, sink the hips in, in that uh, Spider-Man position. So in that kind of lunge, when you hop your foot outside your hand, try to sink the hips down, you'll feel the stretch a lot in the lower body. Good. When you are done with that, we can bring it up to your feet. We're gonna do a single leg reach next. Now, if the wall is something that you need to use for this, that is perfectly fine. It'll give you a little bit more stability. In our warm up. we're looking to get full range of motion. That's kind of the bigger picture, um, more than keeping your balance here. So think about nice flat back. We're coming down, keeping our front or bottom leg long. You got a slight bend in the knee, and then we're coming right back to the top. So again, we're gonna do five on each side. It's a hinge before you come back to the top there. So knock out your five on one side, knock out your five on the other side, and then we will move on. Now again, just like I said, if you need the wall to kind of help you out a little bit, that's perfectly fine. To keep that soft bend, really work your hamstrings on this one. That should be where you're trying to stretch. When you are done with that one, we're gonna bring it down to the ground for a quad Superman tuck. Good, so on this one, hands are gonna be under the shoulders, hips are right over the knees. We're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg. So opposite arm, opposite leg extends, one straight line right across my back, and then come back in. We're gonna go five on each side. I would alternate, extend that heel back, and reach that hand forward. Again, five on each side, alternating, knocking these out. Good, good. This is a really good corrective exercise as well. It's going to really work your core a little bit. It's going to turn the right muscles in your core on. Um, so when we're doing some of our squats later today, the squat is a very core heavy exercise, especially if you're loading yourself up. Um, so we're going to get that, uh, that core primed and ready to go. Now, last warm up move that we're going to hit here, and then we'll get into our first superset is going to be some speed skater lunges. This one, we're going to focus on the drive with the outside knee and landing soft on that opposite side. So a little jump. If we're not jumping today, you can take a big old step and bring the back leg behind, but we're going to knock out 10 total reps there. I want you to focus on sinking the hips in, driving off, and landing soft there. So 10 total reps to finish up your warm up. This one should be bringing the heart rate up, challenging you in that regard. All right. Now that you're finishing up those speed skaters, superset number one. We're going to go through it three times. And what we're going to do is two different moves. The first one is going to be a power push-up. Now, I'm going to show you a couple different ways that we can do this one. Option number one is going to be taking it from the knees. We keep the hips forward. So anytime we come to the knees, we still want to keep that straight line that you would be in your high plank position. But we're just taking that lower part of the leg out. So same thing, coming down. We're exploding up and trying to press the ground away so you get a little bit of air underneath the hands. Option number two, we start up on the toes. Same thing, pressing the ground away, trying to get a little bit of air. It's six reps there. Everything we do today is six reps, maybe six on each side or six total, so you gotta pay a little bit of attention, um, but six power push-ups to start. Now, if you don't have that power in you and you just wanna knock out some regular push-ups from the toes, the knees, that works perfect as well. 
Second exercise, grab one of your weights and we are gonna do a side lunge. We're gonna load it with the bottom. So if I'm holding it in my right hand, I'm gonna lunge away from that kettlebell to my left side. So side lunge, take a big old step. Inside leg is nice and long, my chest is tall. That weight is trying to pull me forward, but I'm gonna sit back into my squat and boom, right back into the center. Six on one side, six on the other side to switch and finish it up. So. There is our first superset of the day, two moves. We're gonna get right into it, give you about 15 seconds here to grab your weights and get ready to go, but we're gonna start with the power push-up. So bring it down to the ground. Good, and let's do this team. Six reps in three, two, one, let's do it. So again, pressing the ground away, trying to get some air underneath those hands. And then when you're done with your six reps, shouldn't take long on this one, quick, get them done, and then get right into your side lunges. So boom, we knock out those power push-ups, stand up, hit our side lunges, lunging nice and long, inside leg long, six on each side here. So take some time in those side lunges, get deep, focus on your range of motion and keeping the chest nice and tall. So just so you can see it from the side, as I come down, I sit that weight back. So kind of don't be leaning forward so your center of gravity is way too far forward. Sit back, keep that chest tall. Good. When you get done on one side, we go right over to the other side. We got about 30 seconds to finish up this set and then we'll take a 30 second break before we get into superset, their second round of superset number one. So boom, hit one side, bang, hit the other side and then get your rest. Good. So you got about 35 seconds until we start the next round. So if you're finishing up, that's okay. Take your time, get some quality reps. You just lose a couple seconds of rest and that is okay today. We'll be all right. Good. So these supersets, it's kind of nice because one upper body movement, one lower body movement, you're not wearing anything out too much for that next round. So power push-ups coming in again with our side lunges. Now, if you need to adjust weight at all, definitely do that here. And then we will get back into it. Here we go, 10 seconds. Power push-ups and then stand up quick into those side lunges. It's six on everything here. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, press the ground away, get some hands, or get some air under the hands. If you wanna add clap, you absolutely can. Doing whatever gets you to work hard today. That's the goal getting closer to your goals as we get through round two, superset number one. Get your six, pop up into that side lunge, and again, think sitting back into it. Sitting back, big old step into the side. If you want to even turn it into a Cossack squat, you can always do that as well and turn that toe up. But the side lunge, get that inside leg long, drive off that outside leg. So as you come down, you got your weight. This leg's doing all the work, driving me back up to that center position. Good, you guys got about 25 seconds to finish up your side lunges. And then we will start our 30 seconds of rest. So you got some time. Focus on you here, sit the weight back. Again, as you hold it in the hand, it's gonna try to pull you forward. So you gotta sit back, weight should be in the heel. The bottom of that lunge, you should be able to wiggle your toes a little bit. So good. Now, we're gonna start our 30 seconds of rest here. So again, if you're finishing up, that is perfectly fine. It's at your pace today. We got uh, one more round, and then we'll take a longer break in between while I set up that next superset. So if you fall behind a little bit, if you're ahead a little bit, that's okay. But we got 15 seconds, and then we're gonna hit our last superset, um, last time through that first superset. We'll move on to a, two new moves after this. So again, power push-ups, your goal in five seconds is gonna be to have your best round of the day here. Let's do it, two, one, six of them. Good, throw your chest back, really drive from the ground. Get that ground out of there, pressing through the palms and drive it. Get your six, stand it up right into your weighted side lunges. So good. You guys are knocking this out. Last exercise of our first superset. We're almost a third of the way through our work today, team. Keep on rocking it. As you finish up your side lunges, again, you have about 30 seconds to finish up this round, and then I'm gonna demo. So we had about a minute, maybe a little bit more than that to demo as well. So you got a little bit longer of a break coming up that you can grab some water and do whatever you have to do. So just keep that in mind as you're finishing up your side lunges. Good. All right. Now, as you guys are finishing up again, if you are still working, that is okay. Just try to listen to me as I am uh, explaining these next couple moves. So 
two new moves that we're going to do. The first one, you are going to need your set of weights. So I have my two kettlebells here. If you've got dumbbells, works perfectly fine as well. I'll also show you how to do this. If you only have one weight, it might take you a little bit longer. That's kind of the nature of the beast today. So we're going to find our hip hinge position in this reciprocating bent over row. Now, hip hinge, that bent over position, we're getting it almost like a deadlift, right? Our back is nice and flat. Our chest is still proud. We have a little bit of bend in our knees, and the tension is right in those hamstrings. So my back stays nice and flat. My spine is neutral. I don't want to tuck my chin. I don't want to be looking straight up. I want to keep that spine in that straight line there. Then I'm going to grab my weights as soon as I am ready, get down into that good position. And then it's a reciprocating row. So we got six on each side. So start with one up and we're right here. So 12 total reps, six on each side. And then we go into our second exercise of the day. Before I get there, if you only have one, it's just six on each side. So same thing. We just try to keep that offhand down. Boom, hit your six, bang, go to the other side. Perfect. After that, single arm push presses. We're gonna do this six on each side as well, just like all of our reps today. Start in your front rack position, or if you got a dumbbell, you can start it right on the shoulder there. Push press. So we use the lower body to help get that thing above the head. So push, dip, drive right here. So dip, drive up. Little bend in the knees. It's not a full squat. We're not going all the way down here, right? It's a dip and a drive. Be powerful there. Get that kettlebell weight, whatever you're using, up to the top as fast as you can. So those are our two moves. Let's get right into it, team. We're going to get about 10 seconds to rest right here, and then we're into it. So reciprocating row to start. It's six reps on each side, right into your single arm push press. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Again, both kettlebells should be moving on the reciprocating row. So it's not just we put one down, put one up. They're both moving at the same time. One's going down as the other is coming up. Get some quality reps there. Get your 12 total for six on each side. And then grab your weight, drop one, and we're up into our push presses. Six on each side here. We dip, we drive, reset. Dip, drive, and reset. Again, use that lower body to really get that weight up there as fast as you can. When you get your six, we flip it over, reset. You want your feet right underneath your center of gravity, so right underneath those hips. Boom, drive up to the top. Now, as we do this, we don't want to be doing one of these either. So if we're doing this, we're losing power because we're losing that straight line. From here, I still have my shoulder, my knee, my toe right in that straight line. Bang, we get it up to the top. Good. Finish up your reps there. We got about 10 more seconds, and then we'll take our nice 30-second break before we get into our second round of this superset. All right. Good. So 30 seconds. If you're finishing up still, that is okay. Just like always. You'll have time to catch up at the end of the superset when I'm explaining superset number three because we got one more on the other side. Good. Always make sure you're grabbing water in between sets too. You got to keep drinking, got to keep staying hydrated. Perfect. 15 seconds. So again, reciprocating bent over row, 12 total reps, and our single arm push press, six on each side. One round down. You know how it feels a little bit now, so you can play with your weights if you have that ability. Three, two, one. Let's go. Reciprocating bent over row. Now, the shoulder should stay square, right? As I'm rowing, I'm not doing one of these. I'm not rotating the core around. Everything is nice and tight. The only thing that's moving are the arms that are working. Boom, 12 reps there. Hit up into your single arm push press. Good. Dip, drive, reset. Dip, drive. Lock it out at the top. You want that straight line up at the top. Boom, bring her back down when you are done. Six on each side, come on. So you're about halfway through the workout right now, team. It's halfway through our second superset. You got, got about 15 seconds again to finish up the superset. So take your time, hit those reps, and then we'll take our 30 second break before we hit our last round. And you guys know how it works. The last round's gotta be the best round in our supersets today. Good, so finishing up those sets, you have 30 seconds to rest, and then we'll get into the last round of it. Last round of superset two of three today. Good. You guys are crushing it. We're flying through this bad boy today. Hopefully you guys are feeling good, not feeling too fatigued yet. Our third superset is going to be a little bit more cardio. So we're going to turn it up just a little bit, a little bit less weight, a little bit more body weight. So good. 10 seconds and we're going to hit that last round. Reciprocating rows. Again, you got 12 of them, six on each side. Here we go. Three, two, 
One, let's do it. Hinge. Perfect. So again, shoulders stay square. You gotta use that core so the shoulders aren't rotating around there. When you hit your 12, we take one weight out and we go up to that push press. Or maybe you're really feeling it and your weight's a little bit light. We can go double-sided push press here as well. So dip, drive up, both at the top before you come back down. Still 12 reps there, so you don't get out of half of your reps by doing two weights. You just get more work. That's how it works around here. So you guys got about 30 seconds to finish up. I'm giving you a little bit longer here, and then I'll start demoing that next superset. We got one more, one more, three times through, and that is our workout today. So about 15 seconds to finish up, and then I'll get into that demo. <laughs> All right. So, as you guys are finishing up, again, if you're still working, that is perfectly fine. Go ahead and get those last couple of reps. Superset number three. Two moves. This time is going to be the only time where we actually do 12 reps of non-unilateral uh, movements. So it's going to be a touchdown squat. Now, touchdown squats, we're going to be almost like a sumo squat in this one. So your feet are going to be just a little bit wider than you would regularly squat. So if I'm squatting right here, usually I'm going to take just that little extra step out so I can get a little bit deeper in my squat. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm going to drive my knees out, keeping my chest tall, boom, right up to the top. Option, add the jumps. So option number one, we bring it up to the calf raise up at the top. Option number two is we're going to take it up to the jump at the top. So just get that little bit of air, 12 total reps there. After that, plank, alternating hip taps. So high plank position, high plank, hands are under the shoulders. We're all the way up on those toes. From here, we tap the hips. The goal of this one is to not rock side to side. So spread those feet a little bit. Should probably be about shoulder width, maybe even a little bit wider. Tap the hips, 12 total reps, six hip taps on each side. So that is our last superset of the day. We got three rounds of it. Let's go ahead and get into it in about 15 seconds, team. So again, we're gonna start with those touchdown squats. Either add the calf raise or add the jump. That's up to you, whatever you wanna do here. All right, team, three rounds. Let's get after it here. Here we go. In three, two, one, 12 touchdown squats. Let's go. Good, good. I lost my mic, but we are all right. Good. So hit your 12. Go fast on this one. This one is your cardio round, right? So get going. Get them done quick. Hit your 12. When you're done, we drop it down for that high plank hip tap. So good. Again, if you're finishing up, that's okay. I'm moving on to the hip taps now. High plank wide stance again if you want to make it harder narrow up that stance a little bit if you need a little option and need to make it a little easier widen out the stance and then if that's still not working for you then we take it down to the knees so again option one we got the feet pretty close what well, we do those hip taps option two we just widen out a little bit it's still the same thing option three is to bring it down to the knees find which one works for you and knock out this set you got about 10 seconds to finish up we'll take a 20 second break this round so we're cutting down our rest just a little bit, and then we're back into it, team. Good. So 20 seconds, just over, and we'll go into our th uh, second set. Second superset, well, it's our third superset, but our second round of our third superset. So we're still feeling good. Again, this one's going to get us our heart rate going a little bit. we got some foam rolling on the other side that we're going to finish up with and get you ready and recovered for your next workout but we got five seconds. So let's do our touchdown squats, 12 of them. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, let's go after it here. Giving me what you got. Being powerful with our lower body for 12 quick reps. We gotta take a quick rest in between, that's okay, but get right back to it as fast as you can. Good, very good. Now, right into your hip tap. So as soon as you're done with the touchdown squats, get right down to the ground, start tapping those hips. Again, high plank, spread the feet if you're struggling, but don't let those hips move. So in your high plank, we're tapping the hip. The hips wanna sway all over the place, right? But do not let them, keep that core tight. So the only thing that's moving is that hand that's touching each hip. I'll give you about 20 seconds to finish up and then we got our 20 second break and then we have our last round of the day, team, come on. Good, so being stable, steady, tapping, working here. Good, all right. 
You got 25 seconds till we start that last round. So if you're done, perfect, use it as rest. If you're not quite done, use it, finish it, then use the rest as rest. Good. So this workout's even a little bit short today. We usually go about 30 minutes. Today we'll probably finish right around 25, but that's okay. You got 10 more seconds to rest. One more hard round and let's get after it. Here we go. Touchdown squats. Three, two, one. Let's do it, team. I got to hold on to my mic a little bit to do these, but we're going. We're going. You're working hard. 12 reps. Get them done, and you're done with that move for the day, team. Going after it, earning the rest of your day. Boom. And then after that, we're down into the high plank. We're tapping those hips. We're not in a hurry with this one. I'm going to give you a full 30 seconds to finish up these reps. So wherever you're at, finish up. Oh, that end is in sight. Come on. All right, you got 15 seconds. 15 seconds to finish up, and we are out of here after we foam roll. So if it's getting tough, that's where it should be. This is the end of the workout, team. Make it challenging, and let's get closer to where you want to be. You got five seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. That concludes the workout for the day, but we are going to foam roll, so stick around here really quick. Good. Take a second, grab some water before we get started. Give you about 30 seconds to rest quick. We'll start that foam roll, that recovery process for the next workout, right? It starts as soon as you end that workout, so start hydrating. Can't, I mean, don't want to go to sleep quite yet, but sleep is a very important part of this, so try to get as much sleep as you can. And then our nutrition, too. Got to eat the right things, right? All right. Good, about 10 seconds. We'll start that foam rolling today. We're going to start on the glutes with the piriformis. So for this one, take a seat right on that foam roller. I'm going to take my right foot, I'm going to put it right on my left knee, I'm going to hold it for support, and then I'm going to roll out so my right foot is up, my right glute is the one I'm rolling out here. Good, spend a little time there, dig it on in. Any tight spots, you can just hang out there for a quick second and really roll it out. There we go, there we go, let's switch sides, other side. Again, foam rolling is something that you can do throughout your day. It doesn't take a lot of time. It takes just a little bit. Take five, 10 minutes and just invest it in yourself. It's always the best thing to do. There we go. All right. Now, next one, we're gonna take it up the back. Now, what I want you to do is start with it on that low back, give yourself a big old hug, and then roll right down. Again, stop in any um, tight spots, any uh, points of pressure. Take a little extra time and roll those spots out before you move on. Good, good. There we go. Good, and then when you're done with that, what I want you to do is come and find the middle of your back with that foam roller. So right in the middle, we're gonna take our hands up overhead, and then I just want you to try to reach up and extend your spine as much as you can. If you feel pain again, you're probably going too far. So just take your time, get some Really, really good stretching here. You should feel pretty good to open up that chest a little bit. So you can take the arms straight up overhead or you can go to the side as well and that'll open up the chest. Good, good. Now take a second and stay there and then take that foam roller. Your assignment for me today after this workout is to roll out two more spots in your body. Wherever you're feeling tightness, wherever you're feeling pain or anything like that, take some time, use that foam roller and get some good work done here. Again, my name is Coach Christian. Thank you all so much for coming out and spending the best or worst about 25 minutes of your day with me. But either way, you got it done. So thank you all, and I will see you next time.